Isaiah chapter 9, my God, such awesome presence in this place. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. This morning is a prayer meeting. It says, For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given, and authority shall be upon his shoulder, and among his many names, he shall be called not just he shall do he shall be called a wonderful counselor KJV thank you it says for to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determine before to be done 29 we're reading to verse 30 verse 29 now and now Lord Behold their threatenings. The apostles are praying now. And grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word. 30. By stretching forth thy hand to heal. Watch this. And that signs and wonders may be done by the name. There it goes again. Signs and wonders be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. His names hide his power. His names preserve his power. When you call him Rapha, he does not prosper, he heals. When you call him Jireh, he does not heal, he prospers. This is, this is, is very important. There were names and there were enchantments, there were attributes that the nation of Israel were taught. For instance, they were taught a spiritual formula that every time their enemies were greater than them and it was clear that defeat was imminent, they would not just cry and say, God of Israel, help us. Uh -uh. There was a chance that they would begin to raise. You are good and your mercies endure forever. That the moment they began to chant that, it didn't matter the size of the army. Something about the jealousy of God would arise to defend their cause. This we must learn. The names of God are an advantage to us. An advantage that provokes the multifaceted dimension of his person. Now, I'm interested in just establishing a point this morning and we pray. And this is it. That every dimension of God, every dimension of God has its dynamics of operation. You have to understand this. In as much as the possibilities of God in Christ are unlimited and all available to the saints. We may not fully step into the experience of the power, the glory, the might of God until we understand the spiritual dynamics that control and release these operations. Hallelujah. There are two dimensions of the operation of the word of god and even god the way he operates the first is called the prophetic dimension realities from his standpoint they are always finished his realm is now are we together now god does not operate with time time is not a factor it's not a component in his dealing his personality cannot he does not even exist in the realm of eternity because eternity is also a function of time is just a summation of infinite dispensations but eternity is also a function of time god dwells in a realm that is neither eternity nor time the name of his realm is now so you don't say god i will no 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 there's no i will there's no i was there's no such thing as that present ever true that's his realm he fragmented himself and created time to help men catch up with the pace of his glory without time we would never be able to know God are we blessed yeah that means that there is the prophetic dimension of spiritual realities but then the second dimension is the experiential manifestation of these realities in our lives here and now so the fact that you find it from scripture 
the fact that the character of God supports a dimension of spiritual possibility does not mean the saints will necessarily experience it. I think this is where most many well-intentioned believers continue to flatter themselves. We read, we even pray, and we anticipate the workings of the word in our life in experience. And many times we do not capture the full weight of what the Bible intends for us to capture. And the reason is because interfacing the prophetic dimension and its experiential manifestation, there are dynamics that connect their operation. They are called mysteries. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 11, Jesus himself was teaching and he said, it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom they are called. The mysteries of the kingdom are they, they represent a body of spiritual knowledge, the modus operandi of the kingdom. They are responsible for spiritual manifestations. They are responsible for making visible, making manifest. Is the word doxazo, the unveiling of the glory of God, the multifaceted dimensions of his glory. So it is true that God prospers but I may quote that scripture and live my life never having that experience. It still does not mean God cannot prosper. Are we together? It is true that God heals. It is true that God lifts. It is true that there is speed in the kingdom. It is true that God restores. It is true that God can honor a man. All of these possibilities are a reality. But connecting them are mysteries and we must be open to not only know the outcome but understand the methodology assigned for their manifestation for instance when you want to rise financially there are many things the bible says a diligent hand for instance shall be made fat is that true yes the bible says how that the lazy man would not sow and his excuse will be the weather the atmospheric condition and he says he will beg in harvest the Bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. So knowing that God prospers is important but not enough. I must understand the spiritual dynamics that release that reality to be at work in my life. Are we together now? I want to share with us just one key for this morning and then we'll pray. That is responsible for causing God to be made manifest in the life of a believer as the God of wonders the thing about God I have learned and I, I respect God and I love him with all my heart but I truly fear him when you walk with God for a while you get to a point where it first starts as confusion because it looks like something about his character his his love the, the synergy between his love and his for want of word his discipline that as wonderful and as loving as god is he can be so silent while a believer wallows in ignorance yet all of these factors his mercy and etc are available the awareness of his love should not make us take god for granted his laws are strict his laws are unbending they require thorough knowledge and they require application to its fullness the glory of god i've said it again and again that the glory of god only shows up as a testament that his patterns have been followed to the latter at the expense of man's eternal doom he sits in heaven love while people flock to hell every day because he's done all to be done to redeem man but as compassionate as benevolent as merciful as he is someone left earth this morning and is now in hell and god is still on the throne and he's still called love the awareness of of the power and the respect God has for his word and his principles should cause us to really look carefully that just because God loves us 
does not mean our lives will continue to receive results indefinitely we must be like spiritual archaeologists searching for the mysteries that control the dimensions we seek to be made manifest in our lives are we blessed yeah. so every dimension of god has its dynamics it must be understood and it must be engaged one of the principles that the bible reveals that is responsible for the manifest power of god for his wonder walking power in the life of any believer is the ministry of heartfelt prayer jeremiah chapter 33 please and verse 3 jeremiah 33 and verse 3 it says call on to me and i will answer and i will not only answer i will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not you have a responsibility your responsibility is to acknowledge your limitation your responsibility is to express humility by calling unto me and my response is that i will answer the bible says the lord is nigh them that call upon him not nigh them that need him he is nigh them that call upon him calling upon the lord is is an art that we must learn we must learn murmuring around god is not calling on upon him now most times just because god is hearing what you are saying does not mean you are praying are we together calling upon the lord does not mean engaging him in a discussion uh -uh calling upon the lord must come with an attitude of humility a recognition that there is a god above you there is a government that you submit to and that it is almighty all powerful able to step in and help call upon me he says and i will answer it's an assurance i will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not so I can call upon the name of the Lord. I can cry. I can use the mystery of heartfelt prayer to provoke the mighty one from his throne to my situation. Please do not downplay the power of prayer. Luke chapter 18 and verse 1, the Bible says, He spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. And then he paints a very interesting scenario. He says, um, there was a city there was a judge in that city which feared not god neither regarded man may god never make this kind of man show up in your life in the name of jesus what a wicked man that must be you don't fear god you don't regard men then the bible says there was also in a city verse 3 a widow a helpless woman her system of defense had been gone and the bible says she came to him and said avenge me of my adversity now notice that the woman came with clarity she didn't come and say I'm a widow what can you do for me uh -uh. avenge me my adversary verse 4 it says and he would not for a while but afterward he said within himself though I fear not God nor regard man five yet because this widow troubled me Ah, did the Bible not say give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem that a man can take the incense of prayer and knock on the gate of heaven until God arises and shows up over your situation it says I will avenge her less by her continual coming or importunity she wearies me verse 6 and the Lord said hear what the unjudged just said 7 and shall not God avenge his own elect which cry not which think not which wish you may be his elect but that cry day and night unto him though he be along with them your assignment is to cry and to stay there to cry and to stay there to hold on to the four horns of the altar lord there is something happening around my domain that is not consistent with your character i have read through scripture and i have seen that the path of the justice as a shining light it does not look so in my life i call upon the government of heaven and you stay there 
the challenge is most times when we pray we do not sustain the staying power to remain the bible says to cry day and night are we blessed day and night isaiah 7 verse 11 i found this scripture please can we have it on uh, to, uh, let's have it from amplified very powerful scripture please don't forget this scripture for the rest of your life because we're about to pray shortly ask for yourself a sign not for your neighbor ask for yourself a sign a token or proof of the lord your god one that will convince you that god has spoken and will keep his word he said ask it either in the depth below or in the height above let it be as deep as shawl or as high as heaven god is daring you he's saying you ask for a sign that means it is not unbelief to say lord bring a token to my life that becomes a consolation to my christian experience i i have not seen the kind of results that i require for my stability and i i provoke your might over my life he is daring you ask for a sign ask for a token ask god to show up like gideon did he says stretch your imagination from border to border take it low or take it high god is able to deliver ask for a sign ask for a sign father you brought me to this city you asked me to come to this city i am 10 years in this city and there's nothing that looks like the goodness of god i ask you to arise and step in and god says in two weeks you will own a house and he said lord i have fifty thousand in my account that's all i have he said i know that that's exactly why i'm telling you this you have you have called forth a dimension of me my goodness and whilst you are there talking with the lord someone is being someone is 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 is, is waking up from his sleep for your sake and the lord is saying out of the many properties you have give this person one of them and you see when that happens to you do you know listen listen we walk by faith but the end of faith faith must graduate to trust the difference between faith and trust is that faith is purely based on the integrity of god are we together now completely and that's important but trust is based on the integrity of god plus a track record of his faithfulness in your life Are we together? Yeah. So the first day they ask your wife to cook for you, that's fate. You've never tasted of her delicacy. So you are hoping she knows what she's doing. And then when you, when you taste of it and you see that your wife is good, like the Lord is good, are we together? You archive that memory and it begins to grow from one week, two weeks, after 10 years when you say cook for me you are not hoping she will get it right it has moved from just mere faith to trust you know she's competent but your your even your senses can relate to an experience that attests to the fact that she's that competent david stood before goliath and he said the god who delivered the bear the lion he drew from that he was not just having blind faith like well if no 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 he had this level of certainty and let me tell you this god has an obsession to be believed and if you mean business with him he will he will shift systems and structures to show you how mighty he is because he knows that when you trust him your conviction will compel many to follow him conviction is powerful come see a man come see a man do you not think that someone would have said ah what suddenly happened to you come see a man the man who was healed at gadara went and brought 10 cities 10 cities one man conviction is powerful and we're going to pray father whatever you have to do in my life in this season to give me the kind of conviction that draws men to you 
are we together now there has to be something spectacular in your life i came to lead us to pray that god will rend the heavens in a spectacular way and reveal his power his grace his glory over our lives our families in a way and a manner that will bring glory to the name of the lord I had the privilege of having a, a very brief and wonderful session with um, one of the fathers of faith in this nation and there were things and testimonies that he told me that by the grace of God even at this level of work with God I had to sit down and it looked like I wasn't born again I said my goodness God is this what you are doing in the life of people you see it is very healthy to be provoked unto godliness there is are we together now yes sometimes we come from backgrounds that have very 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 mediocre references to god that means that you have not seen god do something that will stretch you sometimes god encourages you by taking you somewhere where he's doing big things and it will stretch your faith you will come back and say lord i'm sorry I'm sorry for my perception about you I came to you not wanting to embarrass you with my needs but now I remember that you are able to do exceeding abundantly far above all that I ask and when I'm done asking above all that I think you are still able to do it hallelujah I have made up my mind that as far as God is concerned as far as my faith and my trust is concerned I will not place any limitation on God there is nothing that he wants to do in and through my life that I will not allow him to do be careful when you conclude about God sometimes we interact so much within the domain of the flesh we are used to men failing us. We are used to men not being able to do so much. So when we come to God, we come with that same perception. God, is it true that you are able to make a way in the wilderness? Are you aware that the last one year we've had a pandemic on earth? Are you aware of this? Then he reminds you that once upon a time, Samaria was a desolate place. To the point that women ate their children. We've not gotten that bad. Do you know the compassion that a mother has for her child and yet two women will come and discuss what kind of hunger will make two women eat a whole child a whole child is how many plates of food and yet they ate that child by the next day they were about to eat the other child there's a name he's called ancient of days that means he's he's seen his creation he studied their vacillations and he's been faithful through it all he can be trusted are we together call on to me call on to me concerning that financial situation call on to me concerning this family situation call on to me you are not alone thank god for your intellects hear me the bible says in proverbs chapter 3 when you read from verse 5 he said trust in the lord with all your heart you have understanding but he says lean not unto it because understanding is limited we see in part and therefore we prophesy in part trust in the lord with all your heart then he says lead not on your own understanding he says in all your ways next verse acknowledge him and the promise attaches that he will direct your path the next verse verse 7 says be not wise in your own understanding he says fear the lord and turn away from evil trust in the lord trust in the lord trust in the lord men and women who were used mightily by god they gave god space to show up in their life today we study about them in the bible and even in modern history we have fathers of faith who have been used mightily by god to do things that you cannot imagine listen these things are testaments to provoke us god is able prophesy to yourself say god is able please say it say it say it and believe what you are saying God is able 
when you're saying it think about that financial mountain say god is able think about your health situation god is able and he's able to do it speedily because he said what seest thou are we together now he says i will hasten my word god can give speed of performance to his word i will hasten my word because destiny is measured by time there is a way god can give speed to a man to a people to help you redeem time call unto me and i will answer lord i bring before you my children there is need for your mighty hand upon their lives and he shows up in power lord grant us grace we are unable to focus on the matters of the kingdom because of these bills and these lawsuits and these financial situations and he shows up if you've been evil know how to give good gifts how much more will your heavenly father you stand before that mountain and all you need to do is to call him when he comes you step back and allow him with the mountain and then he will show again that he is God of do you know there's something I have learned about God God likes fighting there is something about God and battles there is something about about the process of victory that brings him profound glory he likes the saints to see the process not just the result so many times he will ask you to watch while he makes a mess of the devil and situations and circumstances do you know it's really not the result that makes you praise him is how the result comes are we together most times if he just brings the result you may trivialize how it came so he will allow you to be there and you watch you watch dimensions of his wisdom beating down satan and situations and circumstances at a point you will no longer be interested in the result is a revelation of his glory and his love and his might that overwhelms you you will thank god for the result but it will no longer matter I've seen God do a few things in my life and honestly I can tell you there are things that God has done in my life that leaves me in awe and in wonder and he's given me the grace to preach and teach from the standpoint of that assurance and that confidence I don't claim to know everything about God but sincerely I will tell you there are some things I know one of it is that when God decides to invest his jealousy upon a man, get out of the way. Because he will clear anyone and anything that stands that way. So when you see God bring his power and his grace upon Apostle Goodheart, upon this great ministry, you will, wear, just when you think you've seen it all, then he says, no, I am God. I will show you layers of my glory layers of my power this is very important the jealousy of god is a dimension that has hardly been studied in the body of christ when he says i am a jealous god that is good news jealousy is not a negative quality it's what makes you protect and preserve without jealousy you cannot have attention and emotional connect towards anything and anyone hallelujah many of you have children you will be surprised that in spite of this crowd if you hear the voice the sound of your child your child's voice all of a sudden something in you is called jealousy It's more than compassion jealousy what's happening and you want to find out what is happening so when you lift up your voice that's like a child calling his father if you are a child indeed god should not be silent when he hears you speak if you are a son indeed the bible says that hagar cried together with her young lad and strangely before her voice got to heaven the voice of the young lad had reached the heavens and god came and said what is going on here 
and she began to lament and suddenly an oasis came out of a desert hallelujah i know that god can arise for those who take him serious those who pray is it all right if we pray this morning it takes discipline it takes faith to pray but i assure you if and when we pledge our lives to pray the bible says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous it says it avails much it can produce power it can produce wonders i'm a product of the ministry of prayer i know what prayer can do if you pray and you pray with understanding and pray with faith you will disarm the powers of hell you will allow god to step in in dimensions beyond your imagination was it not in the book of acts the bible says how that the apostle was caught and kept in prison and then it says prayers were offered day and night in fact let's look at acts chapter 12 and then we we'll arise to pray we need the god of wonders to show up for us acts chapter 12 we're reading the first 10 verses verse 1 please acts chapter 12 and verse 1 now about that time herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church verse 2 and he killed james the brother of john with the sword and because he saw that it pleased the jews he proceeded further to take peter also then they were the days of unleavened bread uh-huh and when he had apprehended him the bible says he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending that after easter to bring him forth to the people peter therefore was kept in prison but hallelujah but prayer was made without season keyword without season of the church unto god for him and when herod would have brought him forth the same night peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison uh-huh and behold an angel of the lord came unto him in response to the prayer and a light shined in prison and he smote peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell off from his hands and the angel said to him gird thyself and bind on thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me verse 9 and he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but thought he was thought he saw a vision verse 10 and when and they were past the first and the second word or the gate then they came to the iron gate i don't know if i've shared this revelation in this church this is a mysterious gate because this is the gate that leads to influence the iron gate is the gate that stops influence when that gate is open the next thing that happens to you is the city must acknowledge the investment of god upon your life please listen this is a very powerful mystery without influence you cannot do much for the kingdom you need visibility for your business you need visibility for ministry you need visibility It's one thing to be anointed is one thing to be called but it's another thing to be accepted and embraced that the dimension of god committed to you there is a demand upon it but i tell you in the realm of the spirit there are iron gates just because you left the prison does not mean you are free please keep that scripture there verse 10 he says he came to the iron gate that leaded unto the city which opened to them of its own accord and they went out and passed on through one street and forthwith the angel departed there are people as we pray this morning your businesses you have products and services that if people knew listen my my one of the dimensions of god's wonder that i pray will happen as we pray this morning is the grace for visibility there is a grace that can unveil a man like you unveil a product from a carton and lift him up like a trophy and say hear ye him it's a grace it's a grace that can come 
as the wonder walking power of God whilst we pray hallelujah it says and it was noised abroad that Jesus had come your products there are so many people here respectfully speaking you have done your best in terms of your intellectual preparation all you need now is to be connected through the mystery of visibility to the men and the women who need what you stand for and look how difficult it is without that grace there are people today there are people in this nation hallelujah there are people in this nation honestly if this grace should come upon them in addition to the value that they have the demand that will be placed upon your life your children and your children's children will eat from it but that grace is not there so many people die with gifts many people live with gifts there are some of you here you are not supposed to be where you are you are supposed to your your preparation demands that you should be in the palace there are worship ministers all across this nation sincere people well-meaning people but this grace for visibility is not there and they die with their gifts they sing you know i've heard a few people at a personal level and i i'm, I'm in shock why is the world not listening to you i have i have heard and seen men and women of god respectfully speaking i remember meeting i was uh, I think the, the eastern part of this nation and I had the opportunity to talk with a dear woman and whilst we spoke you know I mean this woman came to me for counseling and for prayer but then I just had some time of conversation and I was almost going down my knees to say madam pray for me I'm, I think I'm the one who needs your grace but the grace for visibility please take serious what I'm saying life will be hard until men can see and discern what you represent it was bishop oyedeko that gave a story when they started remember when they started living faith how that for some reason it looked like they would not break through this iron gate and one time they prayed and whilst they were praying and fasting the lord asked him to step out and then he looked up and he saw a thick layer of darkness he says this is the layer that misinterprets what you represent and he rebuked it in the name of the lord it rolled like a curtain and boom I know families that are under the siege of this absence of visibility great people wonderful people well-meaning people but doors never open so whilst we're praying I want you to be angry this morning that this iron gate the Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder praise the name of the Lord I believe this you only receive the reward of kings when God connects you to kings you cannot receive the reward of kings in the prison even if you are innocent oh Joseph the prison is not the place for reward the prison is where both good and bad meet there it's a dangerous place to remain whether you are a wine presser whether you are an interpreter of dreams whether you are a baker if you are in the prison it's a place of confinement but you must trust god for the grace that makes the king to send for joseph and the king sent for joseph and the bible says they brought him out of his dungeon the holy spirit is ministering to someone this morning because though for you the wonder that god wants to do in your life is to use your life as an answer to someone who whether in the secret or in the open said can anything good come out of this family and they are right except that you came from this conference the god of wonder is about to show up in a way and make a definite statement do you believe that please rise up on your feet i'd like you to be patient while we pray because we are going to pray prayer is powerful i came standing in faith with the grace over this house so that we will make some things happen in our lives my god is able to do just what he says don't sing listen 
he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you here's your part now don't give up on god because he won't give up on you he's able god is able listen in this bible people had their situations turned overnight they slept as prisoners and by the end of the next day they were in the palace whilst you pray please let your heart be open god you are able to do this for your business for your life for your children don't be silent are we together lift your voice and we're going to pray in the spirit for some time praise the lord this this is a personal affair just take some time sir am, am i is it all right all right so i've been given the permission to stretch us a bit and let us pray so that we can have real results in our lives in the name of jesus christ please lift your voice and let's pray in the spirit everywhere inside outside those following online we're going to pray please forget about who is but at your left or right just just lift your voice and pray unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come Lift your voice and pray. The God of wonders. You're not a man. No. You're not a man. No. Pray. You're the God who opens doors no man can shut. You're not a man, no. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything, no one like you. No one like you, Jesus, no one like you. My life must change. My destiny must reveal the glory, the power, the grace of God. Are you praying, Rogic? Those who are following from whatever nation, please take time to pray. Participate, follow in prayer. Call unto me and I will answer. Yeah. 
the Bible says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it meaning you can never have what you have not received you only have what you have received it says what things soever now in one minute I, I like you to lift up your voice that issue of concern that seems to defy the name of the Lord in your life in the next five minutes I like you to lift up your voice before I bring prayer points lift your voice and cry before your maker in faith knowing that there is a God who can answer go ahead and pray go ahead and pray some of you are trusting God to reveal himself as the God of increase some of you are trusting God for speed trusting God for restoration don't be silent I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth the maker of heaven and earth the maker of heaven and earth the maker of destiny the maker of businesses the maker of ministries Father, who are in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father, hear us from heaven, forgive our sins, we pray. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have lost that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever holy is the lord Oh, you are not wasting your time, I assure you. Please pray. The heavens are open over us. hallelujah in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we're still praying we'll pray for a few minutes
then I'll begin to minister by the Spirit. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. There are walls we need to break down and trust God to give us visitations. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. Please read with me if you can see. Ready? Read. Wherefore, we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, your breakthrough would have arrived before now. Wherefore, the answer to your prayer would have come before now. The God of wonders being made manifest. But it looked like he was a boss in office. It looked like it was some sort of sociological phenomenon. But the Bible says Satan hindered us. Are you ready to pray? You're going to decree and declare that every hindrance that stands between you and the next dimension that may the God of wonders arise and show up smashing everything that does not name the name of Christ lift your voice and begin to pray please pray with faith pray with power pray with faith pray with power every hindrance in the name of Jesus I come against every hindrance every mountain who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel before Zerubbabel thou shalt be made plain career mountains spiritual mountains financial mountains mountains stopping your influence and your visibility lift your voice and begin to pray Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ah! Exodus chapter 14. The Bible says once upon a time, we read 13, 14 and 15. The Bible says the nation of Israel, watch this. It was already a miracle that after 430 years, by the manifestation of the God of wonders, after the last plague, Pharaoh let them go. And whilst they were on their way with joy, suddenly Pharaoh said, I made a mistake. I will have to be on my way back. Did you know that what left you yesterday is still looking for you? And the Bible says they got to a point where behind them were a, an angry, angry Egyptian warriors with their chariots. And before them was the Red Sea. They needed the manifestation of the God of wonders. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you when? Today. You can choose another day, but I make up my mind. Today. It says for the Egyptians, Kabarus Kiabata. This is a word for someone. The Egyptians, the disappointments. I know it happened in 2013, 14, 15. Don't get used to pain. Don't get used to disappointment. God is about to show up. He said the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. Verse 14. The Lord the God of wonders now there are times that he gives you grace to fight but there are times that he says this battle this battle please take it for me higher guys my spirit is fired up on this altar my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by 
Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Verse 14, please give it to us. The Lord, the God of wonders, there are times, listen, there are times that he will give you grace to walk on water. But there are times you say, get out of the way. This battle has insulted my reputation in your life. Stand back. The Lord shall fight for you. Your own assignment is to hold your peace. Hallelujah. The Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? I'm standing by the grace of God and in faith with Apostle Goodhart and his wife. It says, speak to the children of Israel that they go forward. You are about to pray. Don't make this place rowdy. But some of you may need to take prophetic steps. And you are declaring in the name of Jesus, I refuse to remain here. God of wonders arise. Push me forward. I need advancement in my life. Is someone praying? Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. It's time to break open, break loose from the left to the right. It's time to move forward. The God of wonders is arising for you. in the name of Jesus in my spiritual life I am moving forward I declare that in ministry I am moving forward breaking boundaries in the name of Jesus in business I am moving forward someone is praying from the depth of your heart if you can pray God is able to show up as the God of wonders Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we are still praying. 1 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 6. 1 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 6. I sense there is a grace moving someone forward. Honestly. 1 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 6. Read with me please if you are a believer. Ready? Read. And Samuel said unto the people, It is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron and brought your father's up out of the land of Egypt people don't just move forward in this kingdom there is an invisible hand that moves businesses that moves ministries someone lift your voice and cry oh God God of wonders advance me advance me advance me lift your voice and pray it was the Lord that advanced Moses it was the Lord that advanced Aaron it was the Lord that advanced Rogic it was the Lord that advanced Apostle Goodhart it was the Lord that advanced the membership Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are not wasting your time. Psalm 45 verse 12. Something is happening to someone. Psalm 45 verse 12. I receive it for myself. Psalm 45 and verse 12. And the daughter of Tyre 
shall be there with a gift it says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor someone is about to pray god of wonders give me visibility let the gentiles come to my light and their kings in this season to the brightness of my rising lift your voice and begin to pray the bible says the daughter of tyre will come to you with a gift and even their nobles will entreat your favor hallelujah 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 please look up one of the reasons why God steps in over our lives is to help us redeem time no matter what you lose if you have time you did not lose no matter what you have if you lose time you lost are we together destiny listen carefully please destiny is a function of time we have time that is allocated and for some reason for various reasons we don't seem to achieve certain things that we should achieve in time so God made provision for two mysteries to remedy that constraint one is called restoration the second is called speed this these twofold mysteries were designed to make sure no matter what happens in time, eventually you will find expression. We are going to pray these two things. It says, and I will restore years. The first restoration you need is not things. I will restore years. Number two, the Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran on barefoot and he overtook the chariots of Ahab even down to Jezreel you are going to declare restoration and you are going to declare speed my goodness imagine what happens to you when restoration and speed together work in your life are you ready to pray say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that my life is experiencing restoration my life is experiencing speed lift your voice and begin to pray speed speed oh i will overtake i assure you go ahead pray speed 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 in my destiny speed in my life speed in ministry 10 years in one year 10 years in one year speed in business when the reaper overtakes the sower a dimension of speed please believe what you are praying there is grace here believe what you are praying these are not empty words believe what you are praying you are programming spiritual realities I assure you in the name of jesus restoration by the god of wonders restoration in the name of jesus and the fortunes of job were restored to him the fortunes of job were restored to him declare speed over your life Lord, give me speed. Give me speed. Give me speed. Don't be tired. We're praying. You came here to pray. You came here in this conference to provoke spiritual realities in your life.
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Two more prayers. Ah, Calibranda Gatosiata. Esther chapter 6. Esther chapter 6. Something is about to happen to someone. Esther chapter 6 from verse 1. Please give it to us. On that night could not the king sleep. And he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles. And they were read before the king. Verse 2. And it was found written that Mordecai, that Joshua Selman had done something before and had not been rewarded. That night it was recorded in heaven that you have been faithfully serving as a pastor but your reward is yet to come it was recorded in heaven that you served your boss or your master faithfully isn't it amazing that sometimes you can serve sincerely and men can forget joseph served the wine presser when he got to the palace he forgot him for two years he added two years of pain men can forget but god remembers keep that scripture there the bible says Two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, they sought to slay the king. Verse 3. The king said, What honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this? Listen to me. There are times in our lives where we give our best. Some of us have served people for years. Some of us raised many children. They are in privileged positions today. And by some kind of demonic thing the devil turned their minds and their hearts some of them are our own biological children there are people that walk the length and the breadth of this city and you will hear their story that they raise people there are lecturers that raise senators today raise people but it looks like no one is remembering them something is about to happen are you ready the bible says what honor and what dignity had been done for Mordecai then the king's servant that ministered to him said there is nothing that has been done i hope you know it was not only mordecai whose acts were recorded there but when god is ready to lift you he will single you out you are about to pray say after me in the name of jesus father i declare that the book of remembrance be opened over me my family my destiny and every reward you have preordained i command it to appear in my life lift your voice and begin to pray father for the things that i have done for your kingdom i gave to the work of the lord for the things that i have done for your kingdom let a book of remembrance be open please pray let the book of remembrance be open let the book of remembrance be open over my ministry let the book of remembrance be open over my business over my company over my firm let the book of remembrance be open over my family let the book of remembrance be open over my destiny in this season arise oh god of wonders arise oh god of wonders show up in a way and a manner that all and sundry will know that God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. last prayer point listen to me God is almighty but the way he lifts men and the way he honors men and the way he shows up for men is through the ministry of men listen carefully God is almighty but he has so chosen according to his predeterminate counsel that he will need a man to help lift men we are going to pray 
and provoke by the God of wonders, the ministry of destiny help us. Listen to me. There's no time but there are four dimensions of destiny help us that if they do not show up in your life, believe me, you will never rise. Not in this life. I assure you. I wish I had time I would have shown you from scripture. But very quickly, number one, the first kind or type of persons destiny helpers that must show up in your life they are called divine connectors i trust that god will grant us another platform to explain them in detail divine connectors do not have what you need but they know who has it and they can connect you to that person an example was the slave girl she did not have the ability to heal but if the king did not pay at, if Naaman, the Bible says Naaman in 2 Kings 5 was the captain of the Syrian army. He said he was a valiant man in war, but he was leprous. And yet in his house, there was a little slave girl who had the power to link him to the anointing that will set him free. The key to receiving from destiny helpers is discernment because they will come in a fashion that is not easily acceptable. You must trust God for discernment someone can be selling a newspaper in a park and that newspaper can carry the advert for your job you need to discern that this guy was a newspaper seller but there is an angel moving him to me you need discernment number two very quickly you need men of influence there are times that you don't need divine connectors you need the men of influence themselves the protocol of lifting is that you have to be initiated by those who are there already there are times you have the grace and the gift but you don't have a voice yet at the palace you will need someone who is already there to speak for you politicians understand this unbelievers understand this but christians do not understand this oh joseph you can be gifted but you will remain there until someone introduces you to the king and until the king sends for you even though you are called of god you will still remain in the prison men of influence you're a man of god here please pray no matter how anointed you are you need these kinds of people men of influence economic influence sociological influence we live in evil times where people can get up and take advantage of your limitation men of influence number three you need gifted people there are times you just need to get the job done and it takes more than sincerity to get the job done you need gifted people I look around your ministry and I can tell that that grace is so at work in Apostle Goodhart and his wife. Gifted people, gifted people. From the protocol to your worship team and everyone, it's a grace. I'm sharing it with you so that you covet it. It does not just happen. These graces are like magnets. They call the people to come. You don't look for them, you won't find them. If you find them, they will come with a side effect. The grace purifies, it knows the kind of people that it calls to you. Gifted people. There are corporations that waste money on so many people because they are not gifted. They are loyal, but they are not gifted. The last group of destiny helpers you need are burden bearers. No matter who you are, times will come in your life where you don't just need gifted people. You don't need men of influence. You need people who can cry with you. People like Naomi was to Ruth. I mean like Ruth was to Naomi you need people who need more than your talent you need people who who want more than I'm telling you what betides a man who does not find a help and a support at your down times not everybody is self-centered not everybody is selfish there are people who genuinely love you and they will not only rise with you they will die with you you need to pray those kinds of people we're about to pray it now because you see the pandemic has almost reset everything again and you will need this group of people to lift you fast so while the divine connectors are speaking to you about speaking to people about what you carry the men of influence are using their track record and their, their credibility to stabilize your stay gifted people are there making things happen and burden bearers are there they are the intercessors they are the people who are not looking for your gifts at all they are there to protect you if these four sets of people show up in your life there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to keep you are you ready to pray so that when you call forth destiny help us that the god of wonders should show up for you 
first that God will make you one of such kind of people first you can't pray for something that you are not willing to give to make me a divine connector make me a person of influence a gifted person and more importantly a burden bearer and then you can now pray it are we together listen as some of you are praying this prayer can i tell you this whilst god is sending your own help god will be revealing to you what you are and to who you are god can be speaking to you and say from today whilst you are praying you become a burden bearer to apostle goodheart and his wife thank god you are this you are that listen make sure that whilst we are praying you are discerning discerning ministry becomes hard without these combinations there are people who have that grace but there are blessed people all around the city but the spirit of grace has not apportioned them to someone can i tell you this truly speaking there are no greedy people the word greed is a relative word because someone who will refuse to bless you will pursue another person and say take it depends on the grace that is on your head are you ready to pray say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i receive the ministry of destiny help us lift your voice and begin to mention them please call them to your life you are a worker a member in this church call them in greater measures in this church i call divine connectors show up in my life i call men of influence appear in the name of jesus i call on gifted people show up in the name of jesus i call on burden bearers show up in the name of jesus are you praying Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, listen. I'm about to spend the time I have left. I know that many of us have come with hunger. You are going to pray. And ask the Lord to give you an encounter within these minutes. To visit you. Can I tell you this? Sincerely, I admit to you that every challenge is relative. Is relative to the grace that confronts it an age-long captivity can melt overnight I'm hearing a horn really sincerely sir I'm hearing like a horn like a shofar blowing this is what I'm hearing in my spirit and you see in the Bible every time a shofar blows is announcing a new season I'm, I'm telling you this believe what I'm saying this is a prophetic word to Rogic I stand by the spirit of grace and I'm telling you that a new season a new season the Bible says for us to minister according to the measure of grace I'm hearing a horn it's a new season a season of signs a season of wonders a season of visibility even by the spirit of grace I'm about to pray there are some of you who are trusting God for infirmities in your body you see i hope you don't mistake what i'm doing for pride this is an election of grace is the privilege of god's grace sir would you be embarrassed if i talk to you i'm seeing a door that has been closed for the last 10 years being opened again to you this is what i'm seeing a door what do you have to do with music i'm seeing a door this was closed by witchcraft for over 10 years and the lord is saying here at this conference i'm opening it again this is what i'm saying you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same You've touched his grace. Hey, 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 
celebrate the God of wonders. Mighty things are about to happen here. Hi-ya, hi-ya. Prophesy to yourself now. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life has changed. Hallelujah. Who is grace? Grace, come. In the name of Jesus, I shift you into a new dimension in the spirit. Are you married? Are you married? Where's your husband? At home. Sir. Where is home? He's at home in Abuja. In Abuja here. Yes. Tell your husband the month of March is a month of breakthrough for you. Both of you. God is about. I'm seeing this man cry. There has been help, please. There has been constraints. But God Himself is giving you a visitation even by the spirit of god listen i prophesy to you i don't care what it is that has held you down i stand by the god of heaven here at rogic ria ic 2021 in the name of jesus every obstacle that stands between you and the next level i clear it out of the way in the name of jesus i clear it out of the way i'm hearing a name martha martha please help me guys volume Martha who is Martha I'm hearing a name Martha we have to be very very fast Martha this is a name that the Lord is giving me I want to pray for that person right now that every plague of darkness every plague of darkness there's a man here please please don't just come out arbitrarily you are into oil and gas oil and gas like full time this is what you do i'm seeing someone you are into oil and gas the lord is asking me to pray for you there is there is i'm seeing a limitation in your business who is that person you you're a member of this church okay you just came i want to pray for you sir where are you coming from i live in abuja you live in abuja here i want to pray for you is it are you comfortable that i pray for you sir you see let me tell you this unlike you know most people have a wrong narrative about men of god as though they are there to just hand pick wealthy people and bring to their churches no it's the grace that makes it are we together now yes there is a grace that makes it it's a shame for a man of god to try to look for blessed people no you raise them that's what the grace was made for are we together so we are not teaching some cunningly devised fables or some acts of the flesh no we are people who by the grace of god i assure you that if it's the god of heaven you will be surprised i'm about to pray a very serious prayer there are people today as it is there is nothing in your hand but i give you one month from today by the god that i serve honestly if god be god you will marvel and wonder at what happens a month from now you will stand on this altar in the name of jesus christ sir i pray for you in the name that is above all names that every challenge that stands between you and your business in the oil and gas i declare that the spirit of the sea that attempts to manipulate the lifting of people let it go right now i release that grace and sir the lord is saying i should shift you to the next level now step into that level i release grace upon you in the name of jesus you will never be the same go back to the same thing and step into new dimensions in the name of jesus this man too sir please look at me where are you coming from Abuja. You, you live here sure. there is a man from the south south that god is going to connect huh you understand what i'm saying have you met him we have met you've met with him we work together you walk together that man don't drive him god is going to use him to lift you there is a blessing there i stretch my hands and i pray that the god of heaven will so honor you and bless you and i use two of you as a point of contact for all those who desire this dimension you are trusting god don't be afraid of it 
we've bullied people in the church to reject influence and we're suffering as a result believe in influence it does not take your heart away from god in the name of jesus i use these great people as a point of contact that everyone who truly desires to step into the oil and gas may this grace come upon you may the god of wonders connect you mysteriously in the name of jesus god bless you sir god bless you sir now i want to pray i'm seeing the lord is revealing to me my sister that lady whose hand is shaking in the name of jesus i'm seeing the anointing coming on her and the lord is saying remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold i am doing a new thing i'm doing a new thing i'm doing a new thing sir please come my god yes no 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 yes sir i'm seeing you climb a ladder and the lord is saying the season has come this is what god is saying i should tell you that the season has come father in the name of jesus i'm doing as i have heard every time the lord shows me a man climbing a ladder it means it's a new season for that person in the name of jesus in the open i declare standing in faith with apostle goodheart so you step into a new season more than all you've seen combined in the name of jesus christ the lord is bringing you into that season in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray a prayer and i want you to bring those people out there is a grace that god wants to reveal in this meeting exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 please give it to us and then we pray exodus chapter 3 let your hearts be open please be prayerful don't be distracted help us media please read with me if you can see ready read and i will give joshua selman favor in the sight of the egyptians and the proof is that it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty i want to pray there is a grace that is coming upon people and this grace is for strange dimensions of favor god wants to shift people some of you are representing businesses and families are we together now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare help me with the symbol please please can you just teach him let him know what to do in the name of jesus right now i declare father even as you have revealed to me i'm seeing the number 28 28 people the hand of god is coming upon them you are drinking of that grace for favor some of you is in answer to the prayers of your loved ones they prayed for a long time that god should bring them into that dimension right now in the name of jesus and at the count of three may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace take that grace take that grace bring them out take that grace help them please please whether you are an usher or not my goodness my goodness please help them take that grace in the name of jesus here at riha ic 2021 we release favor we release favor we release favor open your mouth and begin to pray as they come out open your mouth begin to decree favor in the name of jesus please bring them out favor kali katos kebrende kata favor by the supernatural hand of god bring them out we're praying madam what do you do this woman on green yes yes this woman on green what what do you do ma? i'm a psalmist a psalmist you sing I want to pray for you that scripture in chapter 12 that God would give you visibility in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands madam there is a grace listen one of the things I am praying that God would drum it upon you again is that results don't just happen there are graces that control them and believe me if that grace is not there no matter how you try it will not work it's as simple and as honest as that in the name of jesus i stretch my hands by the spirit of god 
I decree and declare you step into a new dimension of your psalmistry. Supernatural grace for you. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural grace for you. Now, I don't know how I'm going to pray this prayer. Please, this is the prayer that will, I will plead with you to be your brother's keeper. Because I'm about to release the grace for speed. Oh yes, sir. There is a real grace for speed. And when I pray that grace, the power of God will come on people and some of them will begin to run. That's why I'm saying you have to be your brother's keeper so that we don't make this place rowdy. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want you to bring those people out. Here at Riha IC 2021, there are men and women, there are destinies and families that must plunge into this grace for speed. God of wonders, I pray that at the count of three, may that mantle and that grace come upon people. Are you ready now? One, two, three take that grace take that grace speed please help them help them speed speed to your life speed to your destiny help this man please hallelujah sir you are the pastor that met me the pastor yesterday the man from uh, uh Can canada i want to pray for you you came for this conference because god sent you there is a grace you did not come with that you are going back with i want to pray for you when i pray for you please i want you to go and meet god's servant let him lay his hands on you believe me when i tell you there is a strange anointing you are going to take back to winnipeg a dimension of ministry will be so open for you in the name of jesus i decree and declare right now by the spirit of god carry that grace in the name of jesus carry that grace walk wonders carry that grace walk wonders by the spirit carry that grace walk wonders by the spirit in the name of jesus christ walk wonders help him please makarish kaniata oh yes it has come you will never be the same drink of that ancient fountain you will go back to winnipeg and in the name of jesus you will set that place ablaze hallelujah hallelujah Who is from Ekiti State? Ekiti State. You are wearing like a yellow dress with a nose mask. Ekiti State. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. Who is that? Please don't tell lies. Make sure that you are really what. Where are you? you are from Ekiti State. Ikoro Ekiti. Huh? I'm from Ikoro Ekiti. Ekiti State. I want to pray for you because your life is about to change. In the name of Jesus may that grace now may that anointing come upon you and end comes to captivity forever in the name of Jesus Christ what do you do yes huh? are you a pastor you're a pastor there is a grace that is upon apostle good heart I'm seeing something connecting two of you mother, what is my this mother, my mother she's my mother This is your mother. Yes, sir. It's a visitation that is coming for the family. Listen, there is a grace upon Apostle Goodheart. Hear what I'm telling you. You will serve faithfully and God is going to lift you. You will be one of those sons of consolations. Indeed, I stretch my hands. Standing in partnership with your father, the man of God, we release you in the name of Jesus. Supernatural dimensions of grace signs and wonders by the spirit of god in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah there's what's oh, i can't remember his name i think he's a pastor here ah uh, oh dear now i can't remember the name can i talk to you yes your life is about to change look at me 
the lord says don't cry oh dear you see let me tell you my brothers and my sisters you don't know what people are going through people laugh and they just rejoice but there are issues that people have that's why when god creates platforms like this we must maximize it how then do you tell people you met god are we together in the name of jesus madam i pray for you by the spirit of grace it comes to an end right now by the grace of god every reproach every pain I stand by the God of heaven and I declare that help her please it comes to end now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm about to pray for the sick shortly sir what do you do sir the sound engineer yeah. can I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands may the Lord give prosperity to that which you do take that grace go with it excel with it in the name of jesus christ excel with it um please don't be embarrassed before i pray for the sick the lord is showing me something if you are comfortable no problem i'll pray with you you are involved in an estate it's like there's an estate project going on with you but it looks like it's it's been halted for some reason who is that the lord wants to give grace and to advance that work now i'm not saying you are maybe estate agent too i mean you are please let's let's this is the house of the Lord. Let's be sincere. You, sir. You too, sir. Thank you. Honor you, sir. Don't forget to come and testify. You will marvel and wonder at what God does. Who is trying to sell a property they negotiated it and they wanted to cheat you mama look at me don't cry the lord is rolling everything that looks like reproach in your life i don't know you from adam receive that grace help her in the name of jesus christ i give life and strength to you and i call the right persons to your life in the name of jesus christ sir Sir, this is what you do? This is what you do? Yes, sir. In Abuja here? In Morocco. Aha, because I'm not seeing it in this city. I'm seeing you going to one of the, one of the African countries again to do a, like a, a, a real estate project or something like that. When that opportunity comes, pray that God will bring sincere people so that they will not cheat you eventually you understand what i'm saying i'm not a prophet of doom sometimes i don't even know what i'm saying i'm just speaking by the spirit of god are we together in the name of jesus christ i pray for you sir i release grace there is favor that is coming on you i'm praying i will pray for the rest but the lord is asking me to minister to you in the name of jesus you hold something today that will change your life a token of the spirit that causes doors to open no matter where you go to you will negotiate with people you will negotiate with captains of industry men of influence and governments and no power will shut you down in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ my friend you didn't come out for real estate oh? you came out for deliverance lift your hands you i want to pray for you look at me i cast that spirit out of him now in the name of jesus christ release him release his family now by the power of the holy spirit You know, my brothers and my sisters, hear me. The devil is a wicked devil. He's an evil devil. And he's only out to steal, to kill, the Bible declares, and to destroy. But scripture declares that I am come, that ye may have life, and that you will have it even more abundantly. You will see a young man like this, and because what I don't want to describe what I'm seeing, I'm not one who wants to glorify the devil. But I'm looking at this gentleman, and I'm seeing serpents from head to toe. This is what I'm seeing. And he just came out to stand for real estate. This has nothing to do with real estate. God just brought you out to help you. I have to pray for you. Do you know 
is not normal for someone to intend to bless you and change their minds it's a very demonic thing and i prophesy to someone here everyone who has agreed to be of help and support and there are powers attempting to change their minds in the name of jesus christ every fail that is upon your face causing negative occurrences i tear off that fail now i tear off that fail now i tear off that fail now lift your voice and begin to pray in jesus name i declare my liberty in jesus name i declare my liberty are you praying lift your voice and pray don't be tired hallelujah sir sir i want to pray for you are you comfortable that i pray for you sir just where you are, I will stretch my hands. There is a grace that is coming upon you. Please stand up, sir. You don't have to kneel. You're an elderly man. I want to pray for you. And I am seeing that in six weeks exactly, there is a door that if not protected with prophecy, that door will come and it will return you back to a cycle that you are just recovering from. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the spirit of grace that this time around, may my God honor you. This time around, may my God lift you in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, wh why is she here? Part of those who fell under the anointing. Stand up. Your life is about to change. Eh? I'm seeing, look at me. I'm seeing what was on Queen Esther on you. Shout. You're a member of this church. You're, you're, you're so, you see why it's good to invite people. It's not just about wanting membership. You invite people because it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity for an encounter. Don't cry. The lady is crying. She knows what I'm talking about. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus, I declare this grace upon you that was on Queen Esther. May that grace come upon you for the sake of your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lady will shout in the congregation very loud shout to the hearing of everyone please carry her and bring her here uh, honestly all of you who are involved in real estate as as i said and and, and i've come out in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven and i pray i speak over your life that in the name that is above all names mama please when i'm done praying i want you to please go to the woman of god the lord is instructing that she will lay her hand on you i don't know why god is giving this instruction let's just obey it that god the woman of god will just lay her hands on you i declare open doors open doors please believe it say amen open doors i declare by the spirit of grace that anybody who fights you goes down instantly Anybody who fights you, I say it again, goes down instantly. Anybody who fights you goes down instantly. Anybody who fights you goes down instantly. And every approval. Um, what is the, forgive me, I'm, I'm still new. What is the regulatory body for maybe housing and F something? Who has a problem with them? There's somebody who has that, you. Huh? That's why the God brought you out here. What was the issue? But he keeps reporting our house to them that they should check our papers. And they are coming down to harass you. That's why God brought you out. I don't know anything about you or the regulatory body. In the name of Jesus, God is raising a helper to help you. You see, the, the teaching on destiny helpers is for you. Because the truth is that with what I am seeing, you, know, you don't have the power to defend yourself. But may God send you help from Zion. When Apostle Goodhart came up here, he, he spoke that scripture. It was prophetic to send you help from Zion. In the name of Jesus, send you help from Zion. Send you help from Zion. For you and your family, we, we take away shame and reproach. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Um, there are two ladies I'm seeing God is healing you right now from a lump lump in your breast we'll, we'll pray now I just have less than 15 minutes and we're done I hope I'm not wasting your time praise the Lord is this your wife 
husband and wife come your life is about to change please just clear the way for them husband and, don't cry sir oh dear apostle good heart thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for providing this opportunity when you see a couple crying like this they are not children they know what it is you see there are times even jesus wept there are there are issues that you have sometimes you just sit down and you're crying please don't cry what do you do sir i'm see ah hold on okay this word god thank you thank you how kind i'm seeing you I'm seeing you do things. Is it like events or interior? Like you are, you are, who is that? We work together. We work together. You work together? Yes. Sir. But I'm also seeing you with a Bible. I'm a pastor. Okay. I want to pray for you. Apostle, sir, one of the things I sense God is doing is looking for your leaders and just bringing consolation you notice god began to do this yesterday now that doesn't mean if i don't call you you are not faithful don't get me wrong you don't have to be called i'm just it's just these are signs these are signs father what, what's his name what's your name sir Tulua, Tulua Kindro. and esther in the name of jesus I'm releasing an anointing on both of you. God will shift you to new dimensions as a couple. Right now, in the name of Jesus, take that grace. Fresh fire. In the name of Jesus, drink of that wine. Drink of that wine. I open you up to strange businesses. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strange businesses. Help them, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ where's the gentleman there was a gentleman who was oh dear i can't remember his face he was leading uh, worship here at the time i think he's in the help, help this lady one of these men yesterday he was here is he here he didn't come come on my brother your life is about to change what's your name sir i hope you are not embarrassed can i pray for you what do you do i'm a pastor here You, you heard the choir. Ah. Don't feel bad, eh? But this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing someone take you to Dubai. To, just to bless you and bring you back. You go and write this. If this doesn't happen, go and look for a newspaper and said a, a stupid man came to lie to you this is what i'm seeing that god i'm i'm this is what i'm seeing because i opened my eyes and i saw you in dubai and maybe for like maybe an all expense paid trip just to bless you to honor you for what you are doing i stretch my hands receive that grace all kinds of favors help him in the name of jesus believers hear me do not listen to people who make you look stupid for serving in the house of god it truly pays to serve Jesus. It may not look like you are getting rewards every day, but the day God decides to shake himself on your case, you will marvel and wonder at what he does to your life. Look at the gentleman crying. Sir, I bless you in the name of Jesus that as you continue to be loyal and faithful, I declare, even as God has spoken, I declare that your time has come. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. I'm hearing a name Jennifer I'm hearing a name Jennifer you are the back you are the back it's oh dear there's no one like that no problem. are you sisters she's your what because God wants this girl you see as little as she is there is grace on her 
what am i seeing her do is i'm seeing her washing plates what does she do she's my, she's, she's my housekeeper like she's, she's a housekeeper yes. look at she's crying oh dear young lady listen to me i want you to be faithful serve this woman there is something that god will use this woman to do in your life in the name of jesus listen it doesn't matter how big or how small the place of service is there is a deception that we have that until you are visit until you are seen no matter how even if you are the one who cleans the pulpit and no one sees you i assure you the all-seen eye of god i'm saying this as an encouragement i'm sure that there are people maybe who are working maybe traffic control outside they may not have the opportunity to come and sometimes the devil deceives us into believing help that man help that man there is a grace that is coming i pray for you my dear you will be a very great lady god is lifting you and you will help your family be faithful be true madam please help this girl you hear what i'm telling you because you are very kind i'm looking at you and i'm seeing something that was on naomi in the bible you know a woman called naomi in the bible naomi not the one that was with ruth oh. naomi in the book of acts go and find out about her i'm seeing that same grace on you in the name of jesus i bless you and i bless this our dear one in the name of jesus christ my dear look at me it comes to an end now i stretch my hands out now in the name of jesus everything that has not been planted by my father over your life and destiny in the name of jesus i am agreeing with you right now we uproot it right now we uproot it we uproot it in the name of jesus christ let's pray for the sick now please if i've prayed for you you can just go back to your seat so that we can just decongest this madam please don't forget um the lord gave an instruction you can just tattoo the woman of god so that she would lay hands i saw this in the spirit hallelujah how many of you are trusting god for a miracle in your body refuse to allow sickness have its toll in your life please i want to pray for you now please don't miss this night by the grace of god i'll be sharing something the lord put in my heart and then we'll take the time to be ministering to the sick and if it's usually now i have to seek for permission if apostle goodhart allows me sir i want to plead for a permission that the people come with prayer requests is it oh thank you thank you now please this is what i want you to do this evening please invite as many i want you to write i want you to write a request of what must live your life that you will never see again in your life according to exodus 14 13 and 15 please for you and for your loved ones do your best to invite your loved ones come early and even if you they are not able to come those who are far please you can i'm sure that the media the Rogic media there should be a way of collating the request of others who your your global family please the media you may maybe project an email address so that those who need to send their prayer requests this evening they, they will come with it everyone write your request now what will happen is when you come with it somewhere in the course of the service as i minister we are going to have them here and we'll pray except god is not god but believe me that everything you write on that request you will only watch it for the last time and that as you wave it prophetically you are waving it goodbye for sure in the name of jesus the christ of god i don't know if i prayed for you but in the name of jesus madam the woman read i want to pray for you what i'm seeing like oil being poured on your head this is what i'm seeing and the lord is saying he's bringing you to a new dimension of wisdom I stretch my hands and I pray the wisdom of the spirit please help our wisdom take that grace you will never be the same go and do extraordinary things even by the spirit hallelujah one of the things I trust that God will do this night also is impartation the transference of graces please as much as possible and with all humility you know a man of God 
that needs some of this grace. See, the goal, the days of superstar Christianity is over. When God grants grace, we are only stewards by grace, and we are supposed to be conduits that it will reach as many people there is no joy in saying only one or two or three people no no those days are over the body of christ is coming to a level of maturity where our joy is not in our exclusive manifestation but that the body of christ as a corporate entity is rising are we together now so there are people you know who need certain impartations there are leaders some of them are politicians it takes more than more than political diplomacy to rise it is always the king priest prophet formation and there are times people need these graces to push them please invite them all roads tonight leads to rogic riha ic those who are online if you're within the abuja metropolis there's no reason why you should follow online there's still space you come first allow those who are who are who are who cannot come here because of distance to follow but you are watching me you are following i'm encouraging you and extending a personal invitation on behalf of apostle goodhart and his wife this evening what what time is 5 30 is when it starts not when you should come you should come and be praying spiritualize your mentality cry with a desperation are we together by God's grace, we'll blow the roof off this place this evening. In the name of Jesus, let's trust that God will give a grand conclusion to this, this sacrifice right from Sunday even up till today. Are we blessed? Lift your hands, everyone. I decree and declare over your life in the name of Jesus. For some of you, between now and the evening, you're returning with supernatural testimonies. And I mean it from the depth of my heart. In the name that is above all names. I pray for you. This lady. Two of you. Hold your hands together. These two. Yes. Hold your hands and lift it. Father, please forgive me. Forgive the way we, we, we are just. Is, is how sometimes the ministry of the spirit. Two of you. In the name of Jesus, I am agreeing with you. Grace. There is an unction from the spirit that is coming on both of you and as a woman of god is laying her hands on you we declare i agree an impartation of that grace receive it right now this grace will open strange doors you are receiving it is coming on you now it's an oil that will distinguish you it will distinguish you in a way that you will marvel and wonder in the name of jesus christ praise the lord now um i'm particularly those who are in politics and governance particularly please if you can get their attention i want you to invite them here we want to pray for them there is a reason why governance now takes spiritual intelligence are we together now there is a grace it's about humility you see if god does not empower you you don't have it the church is the only place where that grace is dispensed you don't get it any other place it's not given in schools you get education but not empowerment there is help that lady there is an engracing you see there's an anointing coming you will probe now find out maybe there's someone in our family that is connected to politics it is our pride that makes simple things look difficult sometimes the church is a blessing and we don't demean or downplay your pedigree but you must observe the spiritual protocol that leads to greatness so this evening captains of industry this evening business people this evening nobles the kings of this territory i'd like you to invite all of them extend apostle goodhart's invitation let them come and let them come on time jesus is about to come and show up as the god of wonders in the name of jesus christ I pray for you that reproach is gone forever for you and for your family let doors be open in the name of Jesus let doors be open in the name of Jesus let doors be open in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me an honorable member that is coming this evening I'm saying it as a sign and a wonder an honorable member that is coming God wants to give that man a visitation. I'm not saying it on air. I'm saying it so that when he so says, sometimes we say these things so that you, you don't think that it's some made up, maybe we're trying to cook up something. No, 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 no. I'm seeing the evening meeting and I'm seeing that there is an honorable member, like a, a political one of these. Uh, is a politician. We 
which constituency sir what do you have to do with Kogi State? I can't hear you. I'm saying this is what I'm, I'm not Kogi, hearing. I'm from Kogi. You are from Kogi? I represent Kaba. Kaba, Kaba what? Kaba I'm not from Kogi. I'm seeing Kaba on you. Yes, sir. I'm from is Kogi. it true, sir? Apostle yes, Goodhart. Sir, you are just beginning your political career. Be believe me when I tell you. This will not end just. Yes, I stand by the God of heaven. You are just beginning your political career. I'm speaking to you by the grace of God. You will marvel and wonder at the way God will begin to navigate you through the bureaucracy of politics and bring you to the place of prominence. This I speak by the Spirit of God and I say it in the open. In the name that is above all names, we stand as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We decree and declare. But this is not the man I'm seeing no, in the evening. This one, you just provoke the anointing to speak to him. But this is not the honorable member I'm seeing in the evening. Hallelujah. Let people know once again that there is a God that reigns. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, we have to close. Father, we give you praise. We bless you for your faithfulness. These three ladies, hold your hands and lift them. These ushers, right now, I'm seeing grace. Take that grace, three of you. There is an anointing that is coming on three of you. You will never be the same in the name of jesus you this lady two of you right now take that grace i stretch my hands upon you and i declare you are stepping into untold dimensions of favor two of you in the name of jesus drink of that wine drink of that grace in jesus name i bless you and i declare that the remaining part of your day up until evening is blessed in the name of jesus christ as you do the work of an evangelist for tonight may my god bless you i declare that the god of wonders is showing up in your life giving you testimonies in the name of jesus christ god bless you and see you in the evening